Today we're going to be drawing Disney characters from memory. From my brain. <laughs> I hope I do okay. <laughs> I depends which movies they are, because some of them I don't know. Oh boy. Maleficent. I don't, uh. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> Moana's. Maui character. Ooh. I know that guy. I haven't seen Moana. Oh. <laughs> Just draw Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> I mean, I I know kind of what this uh -huh. what this character looks like. He's like mm. big and yeah. Poor. Anyway, again, right. just draw Dwayne the Rock Johnson okay. shirtless, and you're there. So I think he's got like an oval face. Yeah. Right. I think he's like. Like, now, does he have a nose? I think he has a big nose. I remember she has like these really distinct horns. I know she has like a very narrow, lovely face. triangle face. <laughs> yes, like a very angular, uh, angular. This is bad. <laughs> I know she's green, and she looks oh, like yeah. Angelina Jolie. Oh god, this doesn't look like him at all. Okay, okay. So I think he's got like a top hat, right? Yeah, he's got. He's definitely got a top hat. Okay, but it's like a small top hat. And then I think his body, he's got a little bean body and a vest, I think, and probably like a bow tie. He's like a little dapper, dapper dude. But he's like wider, right? Uh, Is he a square? He's kind of a square, yeah. Because I'm doing him as like a series of um, spheres. Uh-oh. His head's got to be huge. Disney cartoons of those big old heads. I think he's got a, doesn't he have a nose? I feel like he has a nose. Like a big nose. I feel like in my mind he's looking like Joe Camel. Like he's got Joe Camel's like camel nose, kind of. Um, I love Maleficent because her whole reason for being evil is that she didn't get invited to a birthday party. I remember. I this. love her. <laughs> he has very beautiful hair. Right, it's like long. It's like and, long and flowing, and like flowy. just like Dwayne the Rock Johnson's hair. Right. He has lots of cool tattoos with like his like life on them or something. Like every time he did something cool. Do the tattoos like move? Yes, they, they do. do. They See, do I do know that. Wait, what props Wait. does he have? He has a. He has like a hook, right? She has she a has, staff. Oh yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know her actually. I do. I'm drawing him, and he's not looking like what's in my head. I think he's got like a little vest, right? Like a 1920s suit. Okay, and then he's got gloves. So they gave him gloves because Felix the cat had black hands and whenever his hand went over his body, it would disappear. So they started giving cartoon characters white gloves. Did he, does he have a cane? I don't think so. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna draw him a cane because it just looks, it looks right for me. He's built, right? Yeah, but he's, he's not built. like he's not like rock built. He's not no. He's I think like, he's even builter than rock, but I don't think that's the rock's fault. The oh rock no, it's isn't animated. Listen, it's <laughs> never the rock's fault. I'm gonna give him antenna. I know he didn't have one, but it's just gonna make my picture look more like I want it to look. <laughs> okay. I think I just drew an alien. Oh no, he's gotta wear pants, right? He's gotta wear pants. I'm feeling good about this. I'm not feeling good about this. <gasps> Green and purple. She's like, ooh. She's, she's like the queen of those colors. A green woman. God, I'm having a hard time. Okay. Oh, she's like a nice. Five minutes. No. He has like a necklace that he stole. That I. Don't oh, that's know. right. He's got like a like a puka shell necklace, right? Yeah, but he he stole it from Moana. Okay, I don't care where he got it. I just got. I, put I don't it in my care drawing. where. He just got a. I'm gonna make him shy. I'm gonna make him blush. I still got a color. I'll just I'm done. Here. Oh. Well, great, Jackie. Give me a second. Hey, this is what happens when a cartoonist goes up against an animator. <laughs> you animators are so fast. So I remember her being incredibly triangular. Like the most defining feature of her in her silhouette is the horns, which I hope I got right. If I didn't, I will be very, oh, bad character designer. Her body is the thing that I just don't remember the most. I think it's just like a cloak. I think I she is just cloak. Yeah, like, like she's mostly cloak. I don't remember seeing her legs. Okay, he looks like the planter's peanut guy or whatever. But I think that's yeah, what I'm I think that's a pretty accurate description of I him. I think I'm just drawing that person. Like, I don't know if this is what Jiminy Cricket looks. Oh, that doesn't look great. You know what? I'm just gonna draw my own original character. This is my own <laughs> Brent Seaver's original Jiminy Cricket. I'm already there. I've been drawing an original alien cricket for a while now. See, you got the right idea, man. I don't know what I've been doing. I would say that a cartoonist usually works in static images, whereas an animator would work in moving images. Do you think that's appropriate to say? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Are you just humoring me? A little bit. Okay. You know what? This looks like Jiminy Cricket. I'm gonna go the extra mile and start giving him some like shading. 
this lady. She sucks. <laughs> I hate her. I know. She's the bad lady and she's hard to draw. She is incredibly hard to draw. Oh. The one thing I remember is she has like these green things. These like weird rings on her horns. I drew, what's the name of the alien from the Flintstones? Kazoo? <laughs> Isn't it so weird how you can have like such a vivid idea of what a character looks like in your head? And then you gotta draw But them. then once it's actually push comes to shove to like recreate it, it's like you just can't. Yeah, God, that's, that's kind so of weird. what's going on right now. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Plus I get another hour. <laughs> okay. so you're not missing I'm missing plenty. I'm, I'm missing so actually, much. Actually, my drawing, drawing looks exactly like this. Does it? Yeah, I like, I think it's like perfect. Okay. And if anyone has critiques for me, don't tell me them. All right, I'm done. Okay. All right. I want to be confident. I think I got like the feel of her down, but I am not sure about that stuff. I think that I have drawn Queen Amidala um, from Star Wars, but just green, like she's real sick. Oh, wow. Yeah. His, yeah. his hook is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Wait, that's his hook? Yeah. He's got a lot of tattoos. Yeah, that's why I didn't really... Like a lot of tattoos. I knew that and I just didn't want to do it. Yeah. That's my excuse. Also, I drew him <laughs> with, a, with a bald spot. Why? And he's got a full head of hair. No! Thank you. <gasps> I forgot her collar! This is the not this thing that I have done at oh all. Oh my god, okay. I like. I think that I was here. really thinking about the queen from Snow White. Mine looks like a like Party City Halloween store costume. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's uh, yeah. you know what? Sort of, yeah. I got the color kind of, kind of good. Oh, he's got an yeah. umbrella. It's an umbrella, not uh, a cane. He's got little spats on. He does look like Joe Camel a little bit, though. The top hat's bigger. It's like more of a Mad Hatter top hat. It is. Also, he's wearing like a little blazer. You know what? I'm not like ashamed, though. Like, I got the nose. I think the eye shape was kind of good. Yeah. I think I did all right. I don't think I did all right. But I think I did close. I did as best as I could. <laughs> Without watching this movie in like 20 years. Well, you did great. We both thought that her her horns were sort of stripy. Which they are. Yeah, like, they I, are a little bit stripy. They are stripy. Yours looks a lot like um, a villain from the Powerpuff Girls or something. You've got like a very- I love the Powerpuff Girls, so thank you. <laughs> oh, you did uh, great. You're, why does he have a bald spot? I told you, I gave him a bald spot because I thought for some reason he had a bald spot. It looks like Danny DeVito. <laughs> Listen, if I were casting it, I would have Danny DeVito play. Yeah, everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the laughter at my talent or at the picture, this is a pretty good picture. Oh I'll my god. Cricket. Here's the thing. Okay, so it's not a bad picture. It's just like, it's not at all like what I was expecting. <laughs> you got his face better than me, I think. You got I, think his, I did get his face. You did get his face and his hat. I think you got his energy more. Like, there's a lot of character in yours. It's good. I'm just, the bald spot really, it really is a bald spot. Like, you I really... haven't seen the movie, Jackie. <laughs> you know what? I drew him older. I drew, like, retirement age. The later years. Yeah, yeah, the later yeah. yeah. Years. Moana right. to uh, retirement. That's retirement this. boogaloo. <laughs> yeah, retirement boogaloo. Hi, I'm Brent. Hi, I'm Jason. We are redrawing cartoon characters from memory, specifically Pokemon. Can I make a confession? I've never seen Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god! I'm old, Jackie. You don't look a day over my age. <laughs> Oh, That's no. not a Pokemon! <laughs> okay. I got this. I don't got this. I got this. <laughs> Vaporeon. Vaporeon. It's part it's an Eevee Lucian. You use the water stone to get it from Eevee. I have no idea what any of those words mean. He has spiky hair. Yeah, he has spiky hair. They update his look, I feel like, every few years with they like, do, the new generation. They do. So I'm they trying do. to remember like the OG look. Give me some clues to the construction. Okay, first of all, blue. It's blue. It's a water Pokemon. Okay. So it's gonna be like fish features, but not like really hardcore. Is it like a fish man? No. So this Pokemon is closely resembles like a cat. He's like a cat, electro cat. It's a mouse. It's but, a mouse, okay. But as we've discussed, <laughs> 
they don't ever look like the animals they're based on. Well, I was starting with like a kind of basic cat construction, but it's kind of turning more <laughs> into a dog. There's nothing wrong with a little flair of your own. I was one of those kids who like loved drawing animals so much, so I drew all of the Pokemon. I don't think I've ever drawn Nobody Ash. Nobody cared about Ash. <laughs> like he was just a vehicle for us to see cute Pokemon. I think I, what's in my head is the Electro Tail. Yes. Right? And I don't even know if I got that right. I think that's what it looks like. Um, I think I'm drawing a snowman with Electro Tail, actually. How do you get the baseball hat to not cover the face? Like, Anime characters have like deceptively big heads. I know the, like what you're generally supposed to do in Pokemon. The guy's name is Ash. He collects Pokemon in order to battle against other Pokemon collectors. And they use, come on. <laughs> This is this is just cultural osmosis here. Like I don't this is just what I know from being a person in the world. I think of his body, I guess maybe as like a sack. I don't know. It's kinda got like a slim frame. It's kind of slim frame? It's not like fat. I don't know. The sack of flour. Yeah, he's a sack flower. Anyway, when you beat someone in Pokemon, you yeah. don't get their Pokemon. You don't? You just get the you get the bragging rights. What happens is That's in, it? When you defeat someone in Chess, you don't get their chess pieces. You just get bragging rights. You don't? Rights. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I love Pokemon because it's just, you could just go as a child and explore the world. And your mom's just like, okay. And I'm just like, bye. Bye. <laughs> I think the hat is red and white. So and like, he has like a green symbol on it. So Vaporeon uh -huh. is the evolved form okay. of Eevee. Okay. And Eevee is this Pokemon that's really popular because one, Eevee's adorable. Okay. So Pikachu is an electric Pokemon, the evolved form of Pichu, and the pre-evolved form of Raichu. See, I put up against him. <laughs> <laughs> and two, because Eevee's like one of the only Pokemons that like has like multiple evolutions. Fun fact, Pikachu can learn the move Surf. So this is not an inaccurate thing I'm drawing. Doesn't he just say Pikachu? Could you could you do it for us, Jason? Do you know? How Doesn't he, he just go Pika! 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 There we go. There you go. That goes my the extent of my knowledge on Pikachu. All right. Well, with these this extra time I have, I'm gonna start drawing Ryan Ryan Reynolds Pikachu. Sure. In what situation would you use a a Vaporeon? Uh, against fire type Pokemon. Sure. Not against an electric type Pokemon. No, that would yeah. be dumb. So Ash basically just is on this never ending quest to be the ultimate Pokemon master, but he's a fool who only catches like five Pokemon. And he catches like the worst Pokemon. Too. Yeah. Uh -oh. I am drawing something very interesting, but it is most definitely not a Vaporeon. Uh oh. I kind of wish, again, mine was more simplified and cuter because I feel like I'm going to see what it really looks like and I'm going to be like, you know what? All that time I spent making fun of you. <laughs> Should have been me practicing how to humble myself. Yeah, glass houses, Jackie. Yeah, glass yeah. houses, hubris, all that. Should I give him an A for Alvin? Like, red okay. chipmunks? Okay, I'm done. All right, okay, done. There's no pose, it's just a, a like, it looks like he's flat Stanley, but. Oh my God, his arm is so long, I'm so bad. <laughs> Whatever. Done. I gotta stop. That was pretty darn accurate with the cartoon <laughs> Pikachu. I'm not gonna lie. You're not gonna lie. It'd be pretty embarrassing if I was like way off the mark with this one. I think if you look at mine, you can say that is Pikachu. Yeah. I don't think I got the, I guess, the shape of Pikachu right at all. I mean, it's not a good drawing, but I think that it is Ash. I think I got like the feel of him, like like a fan art drawing of him, but I, oh, I did him so dirty on the outfit. I'm so sorry. I love Pokemon. I think I did pretty okay. If it doesn't look like Vaporeon, I think the drawing is really cute. So mine is both uh. not Vaporeon, but also not quite really a great drawing. Well, you know what? It really do be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. There we go. It's true, it's true. I actually did kind of better than I thought I would. You know, I tried my best and that's all that matters. Oh yeah, oh come on, spitting image. Looks exactly like him, I'm proud of this. I should have given his eyes a little bit more character, but yeah, I think it, it still looks like a Pikachu. Oh! I, I think I didn't do horrible. Like, okay. How am I supposed to like remember all the like evolutions, you know? So if anyone has anything to say to me, don't because I'm really sensitive and it's gonna hurt my feelings. Mine is not correct at all, Ah. but it's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. See? 
Oh, it's so cute! Yours is so cute! You got the, you got the, the shirt and the, the spirit. Dude, it's I better. love his vest. It looks so comfortable. I gave him a puffy sort of Marty McFly vest. Yours is definitely a little bit more, I think, accurate. Oh, yours looks like water Garfield. I love it. If Garfield was a water type, that's what this would look well, like. Well, because you said it's like a water cat. Well, and when like I cat. And when I think water cat, I think, well, Garfield. And it looks like he has a mustache. <laughs> yeah, it looks the, like I was he has trying a to draw evil like, mustache. Like cat mouth. This Pikachu is pretty accurate. Yours is actually really close. I feel like, yeah, like it's, it's, it's like, it's, I forgot the whole head nonsense. You even remembered like the, the, the bifurcated tail. We like both remembered similar things though. Yeah. Like the pants look like this and he definitely has like this going on, but. I like, he's got like battle scars all over him. <laughs> Like these brown marks. This I read other things to draw, and I was just like, <laughs> I'm gonna do some hatching and lining. You are much closer. Than I me. think yours is good for someone who never watched or Thank got you. into Pokemon. Thank From you. the very bad description I gave you, you really made it work. I really love the antenna. <laughs> right? It's. I just don't understand. Do fish have antenna? Some do. I know more about Pokemon than I do fish. Right? Yeah. Put us together. Yeah, put us together. We're the perfect person. We would be water gym leaders. I, I don't know what that means, but I'm in. That means we're the best at water Pokemon. Kind okay. of. There's more than gym leaders. There's okay. a lot of them. There's the Elite Four, and then okay, the Pokemon right, no, Master, not, okay, okay, and you have to all defeat right, all okay, of them. That's right. Let's, move on. Let's move on. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hey, I'm Kira. We are going to be drawing SpongeBob characters from memory. Yeah. Did you grow up on SpongeBob? You did, right? SpongeBob was like right at the end of my kid cartoon watching career. Like it was Ren and Stimpy. And then, like, I discovered girls. Ah, so, like, that, that should do it. Sandy. I feel like that's not too bad. Who is Sandy? <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. I remember Mr. Krabs. Patrick Star. Patrick Star. Patrick he, Star. He is a, a starfish. Oh, no, he sure is. I wonder what gave it away. You know what his body shape is? Egg. Uh, it's like, a, or like a rice <laughs> ball, I feel like, sort of. He's got a big old. Big ol' body, little teeny limbs. I've seen the SpongeBob movie, and I've never watched the show. Oh, and I mean the no. movie from like the early 2000s. I used to watch it every day as a kid. I don't know who Sandy is. Okay, so Sandy is the squirrel who lives underwater. Is she in the underwater. space suit? She is in the, she's in a suit, yes. She's in a, isn't it, it's not a space suit? It's or is sort a... of, it's got like a big glass dome. Does he have a nose? Well, you're just gonna have to draw it and see if it you're looks right. You're not gonna right. help me? Well, not this time. Okay, I don't think her head's like too big. She wears like mittens and she's got boots. Her body is pill shaped. Pill shaped? Kind of pill shaped, yeah. Um, yeah, I like also how his clothes, if I remember correctly, just kind of, they're just like on his body. <laughs> like there's not, there's not much volume, I guess. They're just lines on an egg. You know what's weird is I like can't remember her tail now, but like she's gotta have a tail, right? Like that's what a squirrel is. Yeah. But I don't remember the tail being like a prominent feature in her design. Are you more of a SpongeBob or are you more of a Patrick? Like my personality? Yeah. Out of like, that's not a lot of choices. I feel like I'm hardworking like Spongebob, okay. but I do sometimes feel like a Patrick. Like, doesn't everyone have a little Patrick inside of them? Yeah. Big cheeks. She's got the buck teeth. I know that for sure. Does she basically look like, like Bugs Bunny? With short ears? Yes, actually that's not totally inaccurate, I think. I definitely made him way cuter than he actually is. Me too, I <laughs> also sorry, made Mr. him Crab. really cute. Am I crazy or does he have a big belt? <laughs> doesn't he wear it like all the time? He's got one look and it's crab baby. Patrick doesn't really have a lot of clothes. Yeah, he's shirtless, mm -hmm. or at least I'm putting him shirtless, and he's got pants, mm -hmm. and I wanna say that they're Dark purple? You're not gonna tell me if I'm right? I don't know, man. Oh, are, is, are, is, are they? You should try it out. Ugh. I'm just gonna give her a tail. I don't think she has a, I, I don't think she has a, no, she does have a tail. She's gotta have a tail. God, why can't I think of the tail? Does he have anything else on his face? Eyes. Well, yeah, he has <laughs> eyes, obviously. <laughs> Come on. Something that makes Mr. Krabs like one of the best crab designs in animation is his eyes. They're just like super memorable and unique. Like if you saw a silhouette of him, you would instantly recognize it. I can't remember if his pants like actually go onto his legs. I, I'm trying to remember that too. I think like a little bit. Yeah, I just gave him like a little shorts. So I'm, I remember her limbs being tubular and kind of narrow. She's not like a buff squirrel. She's got sort of a tiny head inside of this big space suit. 
Or he's um, got a tiny head. It's crazy how you can like watch a cartoon a million times and like stare at these cartoon characters forever, but then the moment someone's like, draw it out, you're like, I, I can't. One minute. Uh oh, okay. I, oh god. I'm almost done. Oh my god. You know why, Jackie? Because I kept it simple. Oh, well, I, I should have done what you were doing. I'm even gonna shade him. <gasps> yeah. No. Yep. No. Yep. Doesn't she? I think she has a bow like on the outside of her. Of her helmet. Of her helmet. I think she does. Or a flower. I'm gonna draw a flower. I draw what looks like a bow to me. All right, you draw a bow. I'll draw a flower. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm done too. I know that there's going to be some details that I didn't get, that I didn't remember, but I feel like overall, I feel like I got the construction right. I feel like the fact that I didn't give him a nose was the right choice. Well, you know what? Now that we're not drawing anymore, yeah. I, I, I would like to confirm to you that he does not have he a nose. He does not have a yeah. nose. Good. How do you think you did? I think I did really good. I love this drawing that I did. He looks really cute. He's really happy. It's making me happy. And I hope it makes you happy. I'm sure it will. And I hope it makes the viewers happy. <laughs> I think I got the, the like the general shape of him down, but I feel like I messed up on the clothes for sure. I'm not sure if I got his clothes or if this is just like a wishful thinking look. It's just laundry day for everybody. It's just laundry day. I think I, I did all right. You think you did all right? Yeah. I think I did god awful. I still have no like image of who this person is <laughs> in my head other than animal in spacesuit. Yeah. Yeah. I did so good. I didn't give him a belly button for some reason. But, I like, gave him the belly button. Oh my god, you win! Yeah. You win! Yeah. Oh, I forgot his like ridges on his back. Oh yeah, I did not give him little ridges. Mine does look like a really, really like cute version of him. Same. I also did not remember he had weird little things on his eyes. I did remember those, but I was like trying my hardest to remember what the eye shine looks like. She does have a tail. Okay. Yeah, I am so far okay. off. Okay. I'm not I'm not far off. I'm on a different planet. Pretty. Oh, this is pretty close. Dude, that's not bad. Oh, yours is so much more accurate. Yours is so cute. I love his claws. Yours is like, they're way really cool. This one looks like one that that Nickelodeon sponsored. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you gave him like a like you gave him like gnome pants. Yeah. I love it. And yours is perfect. You oh my nailed God. it. <sighs> like Well, <laughs> I'm perfect. You did do uh, full black eyes as opposed to the white okay, with the pupil. Okay, but like. You got the general shape of the face. You got the tin body, the flower on the outside. I think you, you got a lot of it. For someone who's just seen like the movie and like barely knows. Over 10 years ago. <laughs> barely knows anything about SpongeBob. Like this is pretty good. We remembered the same things. It's we like, definitely did. We got the fact that he has a collar and a pocket. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's got a, well, he doesn't have a pocket in this picture. We just imagine, oh, Mandela effect. We just yeah. imagine that he had a pocket, he doesn't. Yeah, yours is so cute. I would like buy merch with this little crab on it. SpongeBob, it's iconic, and it's like it definitely permeated our culture, mm -hmm. like more than most properties. Color. You remember it because you spend all your free time as a child just watching television. <laughs> what else am I gonna do? Pay my taxes? I don't have taxes yet. I'm a, I'm a kid. I had taxes when I was a kid. No. No, I didn't. I, didn't. I was going to be like, you were a really advanced child, a <laughs> prodigy. Hi, I'm Brent. Hi, I'm Jason. And today we're going to be drawing... Looney Tunes characters from memory. Our brain. That's a big universe. I feel like the human characters are going to be hard. There's human characters? Looney Tunes are hard. Yeah. <laughs> like... I don't think I've ever drawn any Looney Tunes. I probably drew Bugs Bunny as a child. All oh right. boy, well, let's get into it. His name is Marvin the Martian. <gasps> He's my favorite! He's my favorite! Yes! <laughs> I still can't draw him because I, I haven't have, seen him in 400 years. I have slippers of him! Ah, <laughs> oh, you win! Bugs Bunny. Oh, oh, God, wow. I actually didn't want him. <laughs> <laughs> Yosemite Sam. No! Oh, no! Yeah. I don't know who that is! Wait! Oh, is how there... the turns have tabled! So I have an advantage for once. You're gonna kill me today. Yes! So he's got massive cheeks, big buck teeth, and then the big eye. Okay, wait a minute, maybe I can draw him. Oh my god, you're so Maybe I'm amazing. So fast. Maybe I'm great. He's adorable. I love aliens. I love that you could only really see his eyes. His voice is fantastic. His voice is the best. He has like a, I'm Marvin the 
harsh <laughs> kind of voice. So here's the thing, Jackie. Since you don't know, feel free to ask me questions and I will answer truthfully. Oh, I feel like Kevin's just going to have a field day. I'm going to be nice to you. So who's Yosemite Sam? So he's the little cowboy with the big hat and the big mustache. I have all these like vague, vague, cloudy memories of this guy. Let me put it in your terms. He has chibi construction. Big head, small body. He's got more human construction than most cartoon characters. Like, his head is not ginormous compared to the rest of his body. His ears are, like, long as hell, Yeah, he's right? got long ears, though. Does he have, like, a, a little, like, fuzzy thing on his butt? He's got, like, a tail. It's funny how as soon as you start drawing this, you're like, I'm gonna fail. But then you start, and you're like, you know what? I can remember. Surprisingly a lot. That is some people's experience. <laughs> <laughs> he has a big beard, right? So he has a big red mustache. Do you see his mouth ever and his nose? You do see his nose. I think it's just that separation of like the beard and the mustache creates his mouth. I mean, he's a cowboy. Was Indiana Jones a cowboy? Seriously? I mean, he has like a cowboy hat. <sighs> Doesn't he wear like a little green skirt? He wears a skirt. Very Spartan. Yeah, it's very Spartan. So he has a big hat. Bigger than his mustache? Yes. Oh. It's like a comically large hat. This drawing is getting even more confusing than I started. I don't remember if he also has big bushy eyebrows too. I'm gonna try the big eyebrows and you know see what? if they work. I'm just gonna do what you're doing because I don't like being left out. So I'm gonna give him some bushy eyebrows. Now he looks mad, so I think that's yeah. more accurate. Cool use of colors. Like he's only like black, green, and red and white, right? Where's the red? Shoes? And the, the hat, right? His helmet's red? It has red on it. It's like a Spartan helmet. It's got like the... If Kira says that's what's happening in on Marvin's bod, then that's what's happening. So he has like attitude, right? Oh yeah, he's got, gotta have attitude. I don't know if I'm getting the attitude right. He's always holding a carrot. Maybe it's set of the side of his mouth. He's not holding anything of mine. He's holding on for dear life <laughs> to look like himself. He's usually holding two large guns. Oh, I don't know how to draw guns. Good for you. Thank you. I'm gonna give him a cup, a cup of coffee. That's why he's so angry. Yeah, he's caffeinated all the time. And his other hand, it's gonna hold a cat. You said there was a red thing on here, so I'm gonna put a red thing on here. Oh, he feels so naked. It feels like he should have a shirt. Maybe he does have a shirt. Do you remember him with a shirt? Like a little black body and then that green skirt. Does he have uh, shoulder pads? I don't remember shoulder pads. Yo, he's got gloves, right? He has definitely got gloves. I don't know if he has a crotch or knees, but I gave him a crotch. He has a white chest, right? I don't think so. I gave him a belt. I'm pretty sure he has a belt, like a big belt buckle. Does he wear a collared shirt? Well, now he does. I think he wears a vest. Oh, he probably has those cowboy spinny. Spurs? Spurs. Does he have whiskers? I think he does have whiskers. I feel like those would be so annoying to draw if you're animating in them. I don't know, maybe he does. Oh, that looks weird. I'm taking away his whiskers. Help me out with the colors. I have no idea what his All colors right. are. All right, his mustache and beard is like a reddish brown. His hat, I want to say, is a tan. This guy's got bad taste in hats. I'm done. There he is. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Brent. I'm like doing a new <laughs> Bugs Funny, but I don't think this is any more accurate. The inside of his ears are pink, right? I wanna say yes. You could really pull this one out, Jason. Maybe you got this and I don't. I'm gonna make his belt gold because he's a cowboy and right. I just feel like that's correct. I don't know what color to make his shirt. Neither do I. I'm gonna go with like an orange. Okay, then I'm gonna go with the opposite of that. Green? Green. Ooh, that looks wrong. That looks very wrong. I'm just gonna go with white. Now he looks like an office worker. <laughs> Okay, I, I just think... Just a white collar cowboy? Yeah. I just realized I didn't give him arms either. <laughs> there we go. Now he's got arms. And then he's got little sneaker shoes. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I think I did okay. I think I got the spirit of him. I think a lot of the details I got wrong. You know what they say, wrong and strong. Strong and wrong. Same words, <laughs> different order. <laughs> Wait, yours is so good! Ah, you did ah, it! Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is this is Bugs Bunny. Oh my god!
god, he's so amazing! Cute. <laughs> Look at him! Oh, he's so good! Look you're... at his little skirt! Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you should have made the mustache bigger. I feel like my mustache. <laughs> Your mustache is very large. I think we're right that he didn't have a shirt. I think that's accurate. I love this rabbit on the right. He is the man. You got his skirt more accurate than I did. Oh, you got his arm, his hands right completely. Oh, you are really close. I remember his beard being, I mean, his mustache being way bigger. And his mouth floats in his mustache. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I just didn't draw the carrot. You've been practicing this one. How'd you get his feet so good? I, his feet are iconic to me. We both were on the same wavelength of like the brush thing on his head, but we weren't quite it, it's it, like yeah. literally a brush. And all that talk we had about him not having a shirt. Look at him, he's in a full on <laughs> jumpsuit. Well, I think he did an amazing job. Thank even you, if I think you did these too. These colors are somewhat off. Yours is ridiculously cute. Well, you know what? You win some, you lose some, you know? And as you taught me before, sometimes it be like that. There we go. Hi, I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Jackie. And today we're drawing more SpongeBob characters from memory. And today's character is Mrs. Puff. I love Mrs. Puff. <laughs> Who? Squidward. No. <laughs> Why no? I don't know if I can draw that. SpongeBob. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I grew up without television, so I don't know any of these characters. <laughs> Everybody knows SpongeBob. I know what SpongeBob looks like. Jason, what shape is SpongeBob? <laughs> He is a square. I don't know. I you can't... did such a great job with Patrick yeah, Star. Yeah, but Patrick is like one shape, and Squidward is like four shapes. What four Minimum. shapes is he? Circle. Right. Maybe like a triangle. Okay. Mayhaps a pentagon. Mayhap. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that I don't watch the show at all, but I is no way not to know what this guy looks like. I think I've drawn this character so many times in my youth. Like really? this should be second nature to me. I've never drawn SpongeBob before. Before. Have you done research since the last time? You know what? I have watched a little bit of Spongebob. How did you like it? I liked it a lot. Oh. Can you tell me a little bit about her? So Mrs. Puff is Spongebob's driving instructor, and she, she is at wit's end with him because he has failed his driving test like over a hundred times, I think. Really? His head is quite large. The thing is that he has a really big nose. Like that's... Right, and it dangles. Yeah, and it dangles. Like kind over of, his mouth. Yeah, he's got lots of tentacles. Oh uh, yeah, he's got like... He doesn't have human hands. Don't, yeah. don't draw human hands. Okay. That's gonna really freak people out. Just think of like a cereal box. Kind of like that shape. He's got like wavy lines on the outside. And then just give him some like Swiss cheese holes. His limbs are kind of tuby. He's got like the rubber hose thing going on. I will never get tired of Spongebob. It's just like, it is ingrained into our culture. Into some people's culture. <laughs> And he's got like big eyes like Spongebob, right? Yeah. He's got a big old nose. I don't know that much. I think that's the only thing I know about him. Does he have gloves? No. No? No, because okay. okay. he's yellow. Okay. So his hands already stand out. The shape of his head. Mm-hmm. Is it like a bullet shape or is it something different? It's You're... like a mushroom. It's like a mushroom. Imagine a mushroom. You know, it's like a bulbous, uh -huh. and then it's got the stem. Okay. Next question. Yes. Is he wearing clothes? Yes, he sure okay. is. Like shirt and pants? What do you think? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is the limit of you helping me here? Mine looks like a cookie. Wait, can I ask you for a hint? Are her fins like hands, or are they just like fins? They're like fins. He's got like buck teeth though, right? I think he has buck teeth. I'm not wrong on that. Okay. Oh, now I, now I got it. Okay, I think I got it now. So I've made an executive decision. I am giving him both a shirt and pants. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'd support you. It feels... Oh, wait, now, hold on. No, you're right. Keep it going. Now I think you're effing with me. No, I'm not. I would never do such a thing. I'm actually, like, really cool and awesome and kind. Don't make something a sailor's dress. Uh, sailor it, Moon is a very good reference you're in of Japan, a sailor. Japan, they had uniforms that are inspired by like sailor. Yeah. Okay. Suits. Okay. Does she wear shoes? Yes. Are they fabulous? Yeah. They're like little high heels, I think. <gasps> Cute. She has really tiny. Like, it's like an interesting take on a blowfish, which is cool. Like I don't really think I've seen any other blowfish designs like hers. How old is she? She's like middle aged. Does she wear makeup? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Give her some lipstick then. Five minutes. Five oh. minutes, oh boy, okay. 
Oh boy, I better You get should the color. maybe restart the clock. Oh my god, I spent too long on the niceness of the lines, I think, and now I don't know if I'll be able to color it. I have to decide what colors I want to make him. He's a very drab color, I know that. Mm. You should try all sorts of colors. Now you're just actively trying to screw with me. I don't even know if I have space for the tie. Jason, do not forget the tie. I, I won't forget the tie. They're gonna come at you in the comments if you don't come <laughs> up with a tie. I should have formatted my drawing like one of those drawing tutorials where it's like, just draw a square. And I'll be like listening to you and draw doing some. it. Yeah, and you're just following along. I'll do that next time. Who needs art school when you can watch BuzzFeed videos? Oh wait, wait, but does she does she have arms yeah, as they're well fins. as fins? They're oh. like arm fins. You could take any frame of Spongebob out of context and probably make a meme out of it just because there's so much like character and expression in it. Spongenar or like Caveman Spongebob. Uh -huh. It's like when future Spongebob goes to the past and like meets his like caveman counterpart. Wow. And Spongenar is like, oh. What about you, Jason? You got a favorite Spongebob meme? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know about the memes much. Sorry, audience, I live in a cave. Two minutes. Oh, uh, my God. don't do that. Oh my God, can we have a loose too? Yeah, right. Oh no. This doesn't look right. I'm coloring in his pants and I feel like I made a bad decision. It's too late to change it now. It's too late to change it. You gotta commit. So I gotta live with it, but I commit. feel like it was wrong for me. To give him pants? Yeah. Oh, this is definitely not Mrs. Puff. Mine but... looks like an airline stewardess. Oh. I'm <laughs> down. Okay, I'm gonna believe this. How do you guys think you did? I think I did really well. <laughs> <laughs> I think this looks like the character more than anything else I've done on this challenge. You know what? I'm confident. Yeah? I'm confident in my decisions. Well, I feel somewhat okay. I feel like the pants were the wrong thing to do, but we're gonna find out. Uh, he doesn't have pants, does he? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so cute! She is so so cute. Wait, you, that is adorable. You made her look like a sailor scout. She's adorable. Did I kill it? You did amazing. I killed him with a knife. No, with I mean, With a real you did... knife. I stabbed him over and over until he Jackie, bled. you're misunderstanding me. Bled until he no, died. No. Yes! Yeah! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? This looks what is this? literally the exact character. Wait, so like, <laughs> what? He's like robbing us at like finger point. At finger point, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> this looks kind of like the first draft that they made us with. Like, okay. They, they Before drew, they refined it. Yeah, they were like, they drew this and they were like, this is the guy, and then. And then they like quietly gave it to a real character designer <laughs> and they were like. Hey. I'm not saying it's a bad drawing. They were like, listen, can you clean this up for Ted here? Can mm -hmm. you remove the pants? I don't really know <laughs> what he was doing with those. Oh yeah, exactly that. Yours <laughs> this is, is like, <laughs> I forgot he had like the blue eyes. Oh, oh I didn't man. Know he had, yeah. Oh, and socks. I didn't know he had socks. Wow. I thought his holes were more 3D ish. But they just look <laughs> you like... seriously like gave him like divots into his like skin. Yeah. You did it. You made my gritty live action remake. Remake. SpongeBob. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that! Wow. I mean, you were dead on. Was I? Yeah. Did I even get his, like, suckers colors right? He has darker suckers. Mm. Small circles mm -hmm. are darker. Mm -hmm. But you got the purple. You didn't give him a collar on his shirt. I was gonna say that you got the collar okay. on his shirt for some reason. That's a weird thing for me to yeah, remember. Yeah, for you to remember, right? <laughs> oh my god, oh. look at her! Ooh, she has a lot more hair than I remember. Yeah. She does have spikes! I incredibly got the legs right. Oh, you got them perfect. I don't know how. You got the color spot on. I sort of got it, but. So cute. Good try. Good job. Yeah. SpongeBob is literally, he's kind of like Mickey Mouse at this point. I don't know who the rest of the characters of the show is, but there's no way you can avoid knowing what SpongeBob oh, yeah. looks like. Yeah. Your SpongeBob's gonna beat up my SpongeBob. <laughs> You did good, Kevin. Thank you, Jack. I'm so sorry I never help you, but I really like not helping you. That's weird, but I'll take it. I just think it's funny. <laughs> it's just a good time to watch you struggle. Please, yeah. everyone likes to watch me struggle. What up, gamers? It's me, your boy, PogChamp. And I'm Kevin. And today we're drawing... 90s characters from memory. From our brain, our little memories. I was born in the 90s, but I don't remember it. Y you had to be there. I was there. I was little, baby. I was 21. Yikes. Your character is Arnold from Hey Arnold. Oh, oh. I there you go. I have his head in my head, but I don't have his body I in know. my head. Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, sweet. I'm excited. <laughs> right. Chucky Finster. 
Who? From Rugrats. Oh, his last name is Finster? Ugh. I would bully that kid. <laughs> Jason, what shape is Arnold's head? It is obviously football head. Nice. Yeah. I know who Dexter is, so I'm happy. Uh, I'm just trying to remember all the details that make Dexter Dexter. He's a kid. So he's got a big head. He got huge brains. Well, let's not go that far. Now I'm like forgetting his face, his eyes. Okay, so Arnold's like the chill dude. So his eyes are always kind of like, he's got his lids closed, like halfway. Nicktoons was always, they always had like the cooler um, cartoons. Nicktoons had like, ah, real monsters and Rugrats, which felt safe. It always had like adult jokes in there, hidden in there somewhere. Yeah. You know, I didn't watch a lot of Rugrats, but the Rugrats that I did watch, I remember not liking his character. Because he's like he's like whiny, right? Yeah, so, he's like the worst Rugrats character. What was great about Hey Arnold for me is that Hey Arnold took place in like a city. Yeah. I was born and raised in the in the Bronx. Yeah. And it was just it was great to see a show that reflected that. That reflected that. So the city that's in Hey Arnold is actually a mix between New York and Seattle, mm. which I always thought was super cool. So you didn't watch Rugrats? I watched some of it. I don't really remember it. I watched Dexter a lot as a kid. Yeah, I, I used to watch it a lot when I was younger. I would say not as a kid, because, I mean, I was kind of in high school and getting into college when Dexter was coming out. Rugrats and, like, Ren and Stimpy was, like, the end of my, my Nicktoons watching. Oh, and then you discovered girls. You gotta live life without any shame. Exactly. Everybody knows why incognito mode exists. Wait, what? You know, it's funny. You never remember what the feet look like a lot of the time. His boots are hard. I don't, like, I remember them, but I don't think I'm getting the shape quite right. Doesn't he wear, like, big chunky shoes? Chunky Finster. Am I right, ladies? Uh, can we open the door and let some of these puns out? One thing that I remember very distinctly about Dexter is he is like super square. <laughs> the character designs on Rugrats were like super freaky. Yeah, the- Like the, they were vaguely unsettling. I think it was probably a product of its time. Things just didn't look right. It was like that the, the era of squiggle vision. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I just pretended like- yeah. Dr. Katz, anyone? Squiggle vision? Home movies. A thing that I've struggled with a lot on here is remembering the small details of characters' clothes. I'm totally making his clothes up right now. I think he's wearing like a flannel shirt underneath though. I, th I remember flannel. He has something on his shirt. Is that a dinosaur? Does he have a dinosaur on his shirt? His shirt's blue, I think. Oh, what color was his hat then? It's like a dark blue. His, shirt, his hat's red. Oh, like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> and his hair. Do you remember anything about his hair? He's got blonde hair. Yeah, he's definitely got blonde hair. He's got like big frizzy hair, right? Yeah, he has like big orange hair. He's got like, you know, when you're drawing something poofy and it has like that little circle in the middle of like where the tears are, where it's like Oh, yeah. yeah the little loops. I don't know what I'm drawing. I think I'm mixing up Chucky and the aliens from Toy Story. The aliens from Toy Story have like three eyes and are green. Chucky Finster is a human child. Is he, though? Yes. I remember actually asking my mom when I was a kid what accent Dexter had, and she said that it was a made-up one, but I think <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like Transylvanian, right? Didi, look at this beaker. I, I mean, sound French. Okay, you that's great. About <laughs> <laughs> five minutes. Oh my God. Uh -oh. I'm gonna need a little more time. I can't wait to see yours. I know, I can't wait to see what you drew. My final touch is, is this cigarette and making his <laughs> eyes kind of red because he's high. So Jason, we feeling more confident about this one? Um, kinda, yeah. I, I, I know it looks like Arnold. It's okay. I think he's, you know. I think it's getting closer to what he probably looks like. I think I'm done. I gotta stop fiddling with it. Just leave it. I think I did okay. Uh, I think I got a lot of the details wrong. I'm pretty sure the color of his shirt and his diaper. I put him in a diaper. He may be wearing shorts. It's Arnold. He's an adult and he's had a hard life. Oh, oh yeah. that's, you nailed it. That's so good. Oh, Kira. Oh my God. Thank you. 
Oh, oh hell yeah. Oh, yeah. This Arnold's chill as heck. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Ah! Why, do, why is his diaper purple, though? Because I, I don't know. I feel like he needed a purple diaper. I love his expression. You nailed the character. Thank you. Like, that's totally, <laughs> that's totally, I'm jealous. You're the body of your Arnold feels like the real character design. Yeah, you gave him like, you gave him like a human body. <laughs> like, this is some straight up anatomy. Are you disappointed in me? I just, I, it's good, Kevin. Just why wouldn't you immediately make the diaper white? I did the diaper purple. And as soon as I did that, I was like, ah, oh, he's probably wearing shorts. Yeah. yeah. I think your brain is mixing up concepts. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I love yours. Aw. I think it's great. Thanks. I'm not gonna lie to you though. I don't think it's very on model. Maybe that's true, but I tried my best. You did try your best. You got the dinosaur. And like I said, it's not on model, but it is very cute. And you were right about yours. It, it being vaguely unsettling. It, it, vaguely unsettling. I think I'm more disturbed by the diapers than anything. Oh! Wow, you were oh. oh no, wait! His hat was blue! His hat was blue. Yeah. Okay, wait. I feel like I remember his hat being... No, maybe it was blue. I was hey, close! No. <laughs> I did remember a lot of things. Yeah. I somehow remembered that his nose was pointy even though I started drawing it round. We, you did too! Yeah, I got the pointy nose, and you got the gloves. You got the gloves. And the boots. The boots. You got the boots. I right sorta too. got the boots. Did I give him shoes in my drawing? You did, you gave him little purple shoes. Okay. So. Yours yours is actually like really close. Like it's just if Chucky was pantsless. Your your design is spot on except for the different color of the, the feet. Yeah. That's literally it. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty great, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. There was something on his shirt, but it's a planet, not a dinosaur. We both got the glasses correct, though. Yeah. And you got the eye style right in that it's just the glasses with the pupils in it. Yeah, I think it's 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 simple, but it's deceptively simple in that you've got to get all those details right, or else it's not Dexter. I think we did pretty good for two people who didn't really watch Rugrats. Nobody can tell us that we did bad. Except it's for the internet. Hi, I'm Brent. I'm Jason. Today we're drawing comic strip characters from memory. I mean, I know some comic strips, definitely. Easier than comic book. Way yeah, if you say comic stairs. book, I'd be having a heart attack right now. <laughs> you're on my turf now. I don't like that. Today you're going to be drawing Snoopy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I think, yeah. That's not too bad, right? He's pretty iconic, yeah. Today you're drawing Garfield the cat. Oh, come on. I don't, I oh. only, I only know that guy from memes. Archie Andrews. Watch us fail. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna do some scribbles and I'm done. There he is. Okay, he's got a big nose. He's got a massive nose. Isn't 90% of his body nose? He's chill too. He's he's usually got like an eye closed, right? Yeah, I think he's. I think I'm seeing that too. Oh, what does his eye look like? That's the thing, all Peanuts characters are made up of like three lines. Yeah. So if you don't get those lines down, there's no hope for you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so good I'm now. I'm just saying. Thank you. It's like Riverdale, right? Yeah. Not that I watch that show. I don't watch that show. You but can admit it. No, I don't watch that show. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up drawing Garfield, so this is almost muscle memory for me. If I see it and it looks nothing like Garfield, I'm gonna be peeved. You're gonna be peeved? I'm gonna be peeved. I mean, I remember like, you know, he's like this high school dude who hangs out with Jughead. He usually has like a sweater on. And that's what I'm worried about is the clothes. I'm like, like, does he change yeah, clothes Yeah, like I, I think like a sweater and like jeans. And usually a sweater has like R on it for Riverdale. Okay, so what does Garfield look like? Garfield's a cat. His construction is big head, kind of a bean body, with a, like a beer belly. He's got like a gut. Bean, beer belly body? I feel like some of these things are contradictory to each other. No, that makes sense. All right, he's just gonna be sleeping on top of his little dog house. He's got big feet. Big feet. Like, like not, not like cat feet. So wait, so he has like, he has like human feet? No. Okay. They're like, think of clown shoes, like if clown shoes had toes. I don't like that. This description makes me uncomfortable. Is Riverdale like a supernatural sort of show? I've never seen it, I don't know. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I just know it was loosely based off the comic. How can one cat be so difficult to draw? What am I drawing? What is this? Oh. I don't understand. Not so easy to be a cartoonist now, is it, Jackie? What a mess. What 
what a mess this is. So I take it you didn't read Garfield as a kid. No, read Garfield? Who's reading? For some reason I remember what he looks like when he dances. Like he has his head all the way up and you don't see his eyes, you just see his like little happy face. Uh huh. I'm gonna draw him dancing too. There's poses that I sort of draw a lot. So I'll just be like, you know what? Don't know how to draw this guy, but I do know how to draw this pose. I'm gonna draw him sitting with his leg over his other leg and hope that the drawing comes out okay. Oh, I'm just drawing him standing there again. Wait, does Snoopy have like flat kind of feet? I don't, God, I feel like he's got like people feet. I drew him with people feet. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. He just, he doesn't look like, a, this looks like an alien. He does kind of look like an alien. Like he's, I feel like the character has been around so long and he's been refined so much that he no longer really looks like a cat. Yeah. He just looks like Garfield. It's like a meme. What dog is Snoopy? I don't know. So Snoopy is a beagle. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Are beagles, they have like sad eyes, right? Or am I thinking of like a, something else? My brain refuses to make this into a thing. But you've seen Garfield before. I right? have, but I've never looked at him. I just, oh wait, you know what? I think his ears are together. That feels like it's correct. Yes, oh his my ears God. are together. I'm some kind of genius. Uh, As I'm drawing this hand, I'm realizing that I really don't like drawing hands. Hands are definitely one of the hardest things to draw. Okay, I don't know what his attitude is. He's sassy in my drawing. Yeah, he is very sassy. Like, what are you doing for your drawing? Like, like stylistically? I'm kind of, it's kind of like a mix of what I remember from the comic style and just general cartooniness. What characters did you grow up drawing? Sailor Moon. Oh yeah? Yeah, I just drew her all the time. But you know what? We don't have to color anything, because guess what? He's See, black and he's white. black and white, baby. Does he have a pink tongue though? I mean, if you're gonna include that tongue, then I guess, yeah. I think he has a tongue. His house is red, and that's all I need to draw. I kind of want to make the lines smoother. It, it kind of felt like when he was drawing them, he drew them with like a smooth line, like yeah. he did them very yeah. quickly. Yeah, they were very gestural yeah. sort of like lines. What I like about Archie, from what I can remember of him, is he's really happy looking. Everyone in that comic just looks so happy. What era does it play, take place in? Obviously a happier time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Jackie, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's, n this is not okay. Why is it not okay? Should, someone should not, nobody should be forced to look at what I'm doing. Oh, Jackie, I've never seen you go through this many emotions before. I'm very stressed out, he's horrifying. <laughs> I've never seen them, such a monstrous creation come out of my own hands. Okay, I drew three versions of Snoopy. You drew three one versions of, these, of Snoopy? One of these is gonna be super accurate. Does he have like those things that dogs have? The what? little spots? No. No? No. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. And his eyes are always closed. I think he's pretty minimalist. Okay. As far as designs go. Stop overthinking this, Jason. Finish your drawing. Uh, it's done! Are you done? Yeah, I don't know what else to do to it. Let's, uh, how about we have a positive attitude? How about that? Hey guys, I'm done with my drawing. Uh, I love I Garfield. Yep. What a guy. What a guy, that Garfield. He hates Mondays. Oh, he loves lasagna. I drew a guy. Let's call him Archie. He's got freckles and a big R on his shirt. And that's all I remember from Archie. So I feel great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> like his five fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you got the, the peanuts dancing is spot on. Yeah, okay, that's the thing I remember. I was like, yeah, they do that little like they do that, yeah. peanuts dance. It's not fair. What do you mean? Looks just like him. Yeah, because I grew up drawing Garfield. Wow, you gave him some disturbingly human hands. I, you. <sighs> I just noticed his feet. His feet are frightening. I, Jackie, I said he had human-like feet and you literally gave him human feet. This is like ridiculously appealing. He's got an R in freckles. We remember. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, boy. Okay, he's got like a big expressive mouth. He's got- He does. Wow, okay. I think yours is way closer than mine. I mean, but the, he okay. has a collar. He does have a collar. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa. he's got freckles. <laughs> you yes. Remember? Oh, he did have whiskers, but they're up on his head. They're like up your, on the side of his head. Why does yours look so much, Garfield, Garfield is such a weird looking cat. He is a weird looking cat. It's because it's, you know, 
40 years of refining the character that he just becomes more and more abstract. He also had, did you say he had hair on? He had, like, I know, I thought hair. he had like whiskers is what I was thinking, mm. but he has eyebrows that I didn't notice. He has, I guess he has eyebrows, yeah. He does have thick eyebrows. Yeah, oh yeah, you got the thick eyebrows. I was way off on the hair. His mouth thing was so weird. Right? That was the one thing that I remember the most about him was his mouth and oh. how they constructed it. I don't like Garfield. He's my enemy now. How can you not like Garfield? Garfield has made an enemy today. Wow. Yeah. Garfield is the most beloved cartoon cat in history. That's not true. Hello Kitty would like something to say. Snoopy, yeah, he's been perfected by Schultz over decades of comic drawing. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of beauty in that simplicity. You get like, you just get him down to his basic forms, you know, his iconic shapes. Yeah. And he's he's unforgettable, you know? Except when you have to draw him from memory. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, Kevin? What? Today we are drawing Pixar characters from, from our brains. We should have done that in the same. I know. From, from our brains. brains. Come on. It's funny because the minute that I heard it was Pixar, everything blanks out of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was like, like, what's a Pixar? Movie? Yeah. I mean, you say Pixar, and it's like, you know, every kid has seen Toy Story. Yeah, I feel like I've seen most Pixar movies as a kid. So your character today is Carl Fredrickson from Up. Oh. Ooh. I may have a distinct advantage. I have a t-shirt of him. You're gonna beat me. Wally. Oh. What that was? <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. No! Whoa. Oh. Okay. He is complicated. Yeah, I don't wanna draw him. Can we, Matt, give us another one? Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, let's start with the head. Yeah. I haven't watched this movie in a long time, so I really gotta remember. He's got binoculars for eyes. Yeah. If I recall. Just gonna rely on the cuteness factor again. If you do it wrong, but you make it cute, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes Just like it murder. Wait, say that again? So, hey, June, what's yes. your favorite Pixar movie? That's a loaded question. I mean, I really like Ratatouille, actually. Me too. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Ratatouille is solid, but I feel like it's not really the one people pick when they talk about their favorite. My favorite Pixar movie is. I really like Wally. For me, Wally was like a little preachy. Really? I absolutely loved it. I watched it and I was just like, this movie barely has any sound. Yeah. And it's like, it's doing it for me. Do you remember what Wally's purpose is? To find vegetation. Right? No. No. Oh, to like squeeze things in yeah. his box. His yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's got like a little trash compactor. He's yeah. a triangle, right? He's a square boy. I think he's a rhombus. <laughs> He has like underwear on. Like he has like a barrel body and then undies. Well, cause he's an action figure. So he has to have points of articulation. You need points of articulation. <laughs> he has like three fingers, right? Yeah. One, two you know, out and like a thumb-ish thing. Yeah, he's thing. got like a thumb. And he has like a roach friend. Yes, that he keeps in his box. Did Toy Story make you cry? I don't think the first Toy Story made me cry. I think I was a kid, so I was probably like, I don't have emotions yet. Cried in the second one super hard. Yeah, with, with the uh, with the montage. It's just so sad. What's what's keeping the binoculars on the box? Yeah, that's like. Is what's it just like? Me. There's some like mechanism that causes the that lets the eyes curl a little bit. Uh, am I correct? Oh yeah, because he tripping? can like kind of emote. Yeah. This is feeling a lot harder than I thought it would nah, be. No, nah, no, we got this. I'm feeling good about this pose. I'm feeling good about the construction. And now it's just the details. It's just where it all falls apart. Yes. This is like looking more like Grunkle Stan from Gravity Falls. <laughs> you know, They're both square men. Oh, you know what I remember that's a really weird detail? Hmm. He has the swirl on his chin. Oh, does he? Remember he, or is that? Does he? Now that you're questioning me, no, I he, I'm not sure. No, he very well may. I just, I don't. I feel like I tricked you. Ugh. Yeah, this is where it gets tough, man. I don't like, I don't draw robots like a whole lot. Right now I'm just drawing binoculars on a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have hair, right? The hair is so hard to remember. I'm just improvising. <laughs> If I'm That's being what it's all about. He has that thing, that astronaut thing. Right. It's over his head. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the hood thing. Hood thing. Okay. He has like a battery schematic on him, right? I mean, like a, to let you know how much energy 
energy he oh, has. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, he's got the sun thing. I can't remember this character from the knees down. But I know he has, like, army tank wheels, kind of. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 he's got, like, tank treads. I feel like he's got, like, like his, his legs are kind of, like, bent under him. From sadness. <laughs> God. I don't know what to call these types of feet. He has, like, boot feet. So he has boots? I'm, like, so hesitant to commit to any details now. I think maybe we should stop drawing. No. No? We have to keep going to infinity and beyond. Jackie, Jackie, come back. Ooh, I got a good little detail. Do you remember he has, like, a little laser thing in between? And that's how he cuts things? Oh, He's I got, didn't like, even... a little laser dot. I didn't know that. Yeah. That doesn't look right. But you know what? I'm going to go for it. Jackie, come on. How you doing, Jason? I think I'm almost there. You're almost there? I drew a Wally-like substance. A Wally-like substance. <laughs> um, okay. Time to color. Very I mean, dull, right? Yeah, very dull, but I'm kind of making him bright. <laughs> I think you're going to do way better at this than me because I am really not confident in this one. <laughs> I'm giving him blue gloves, even though I know he doesn't have blue gloves. Why is he doing that? Uh, Those are, that's wrong. I'm gonna give him some highlights, some like chrome highlights. You're already on highlights. Yeah. <laughs> Get on my level. I feel like there's so much wrong with this. I'm just kind of making it up and hopefully it looks okay. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's as far as I'm gonna get. Brent, how do you think you did? I think I did super good. I don't remember ever drawing Wally, but he's like, he's pretty simple. Like if you can draw a couple of inanimate objects, I think you're like already 90% of the way there. Uh-huh. So I think I captured his essence, but I kind of made him into more of a curmudgeon. Yeah, I, I think I got his essence as well, but I'm sure all of the details are wrong. Yeah, I think once I see what he looks like, I'm gonna feel like just a, just a big old fool. Yeah, can't wait to reveal this one. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yours looks a little sinister. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna smack this roach. Yeah. Oh, oh my I god. I like the shape. <gasps> you got him like way closer than I did, I think. Your Carl looks like he has had enough of business. <laughs> Screw you, corporate America. <laughs> Just looking at yours, I can tell you what's wrong with mine. Oh. You got the the ear covering. Okay. You got the three colored things on his yeah. suit. Yeah, the thing I remember the most for some reason is the, is three, the three colored things. buttons. Yeah, I would say I think you got his legs pretty good because now okay. now that I see it, I remember like the lines on his... Like the boots. The boots. Yeah, boot feet. Yeah. Boot feet, boot feet, boot Jackie, feet. Jackie, I think you're gonna be surprised with how well you did. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, look at that. Oh wow, yours, yeah. yours is the picture. Yeah, mine's <laughs> Wally, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, his I forgot his little eyes. his thing from Ellie, the button. I, I made him much more colorful. Like like you, you you got the drab color palette much more. Oh, and I forgot he's got a little uh hearing, hearing aid. aid. He's he has, such a complicated character. He has so many like toy stuffs too. Yeah. Like he has like the fingers and like he has like Ball the joints. He has the screw holes in yeah. his legs. Yeah, even like yeah. the little air vents on his forearms. I like how are you supposed to remember that? It's too much. Yeah. I have one brain. I think it's like an iconic look. It's made up of really simple shapes. Yeah. You know? So it like works. I think we both know what Wally looks like in our head. Yeah. Both of them, you could clearly look at them and say that's Wally. Yeah. We made a lot of mistakes this time around. We did, but you know what? You don't improve as a person without making mistakes. Positivity, Jackie. PMA. Positive, Positive mental, mental attitude. attitude. Thank right. you. That's Thank right. you.